Hey y'all, hey, it is your girl Nurse T. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you to those of you who have already subscribed. Your girl has hit her 1K milestone. <laughs> And I only look forward to going up from this point. But, you know, I, t I was on a little hiatus. Um, I took a little time to relax, to just kind of spend some quality time with kids and just kind of had some other things that I need to shuffle around in life to get to where I need to be, to make sure I'm on the right track. But I'm back at y'all with some more videos. And I just kind of decided, like, when would be the best time, when would be the best time, when would be the best time to sit down and make another video. Now, I've always had thoughts and ideas that came to my head, but unfortunately, I'm, you know, I'm a busy mom. Of course, you already know if you know me. Um, but so I was going to take this time right now to go ahead and share um, some, some advice Those to you who are currently in nursing school at the moment and who um, probably hit a slump where you just can't get it right when it's time to take these exams. Um, I came across my Facebook um, group chat or whatever, and there was a question that one of the girls said. She said, oh my God, this is my first nursing school test exam and I have already failed it. She said she feel bummed out. Uh, what advice can we give? So if you find yourself being in her shoes, then hopefully this information can help you out. Now, I'm sure I've shared some of this information before in a previous um, advice vlog or whatever but if you don't have time to go through and look for that and you want you need something like right now and you stumble across hopefully this, this video will hit right at home for you and it can help you so my first advice and what's very 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 important when um studying for a test and when actually taking a test my first advice when you're taking a test is number one is know what the what the question is asking you is it an assessment type of question is it a question where they um or, 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 or intervention is it a teaching you know make sure you're paying attention to the stem of the test everything might seem right as far as an answer choices relating to the disease process but what is the question asking you is it asking you what teachings with the nurse do or um the it'll probably say something like the uaa um it shows signs of needing further help if she does ayz like if she checks a blood sugar if she checks a blood sugar and fail to um fail to deliver that critical value to the nurse to the registered nurse you know so basically just pay attention to the stem of the question which brings me to my next advice. Practice numerous questions because the more you practice those questions, the more you see that question being shipped up in different ways. So the time to make the mistake is the time when you're actually practicing and not when you're actually on the test. And not only that, when, you, um, when you're practicing those questions, look at those rationales. You'll be surprised how much information you pull from the rationale. So always remember to read the stem of the question very closely and know what is asking you um practice questions practice 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 questions and yeah. now not all schools do this but if your school is kind enough to do this and give you what's called a blueprint or a study guide make sure you fill it out majority of the time the content area that they're going to be hitting on they might have it in that study guide blueprint or whatever it is that they give you to prepare for your exam make sure that you are filling those things out and actually even if you don't get a chance to go back and review it just by you filling it out you'll be surprised how much is stored in your retention bank so fill out those study guides or blueprints whenever you have one another thing is usually they'll give you powerpoints i would take those powerpoints go to the print layout and and maybe you could print them like six to a page cut out those powerpoints and glue them to an index card i was an index card user and i would have those index cards with that content Straight I would have those PowerPoints with me when I would be at the grocery store, 
Now, I'm not going to advise you to pull them out at the red light, you know, but hey, I used to pull them out at the red light, but use caution with that, you know, because you can kind of get distracted on those questions. I mean, looking at those cars at the light. So I probably wouldn't suggest that, but pull them out when you in the grocery store, when you doing laundry and, you know, when you have that time to just reflect and look at those, look at the content, the more that I see it, the more, it be, you know, it begins to, um, the retention, the retention, the retention, the more times you see it, the more you storing it in your retention bank. Okay. The next thing I would suggest is, um, um, record your lectures, get the permission to record your lectures and record those lectures. I'm telling you those lectures, um, you could play them back again. You could play them back while you walk in the track. If you walk the track to relieve stress, um, you could play them back when you walk in the track. You could play them back when you're in the car driving. I think when I was in nursing school, I hardly ever played my radio. My radio was totally, um, basically me replaying my lectures and you'll be surprised at how much you actually didn't um hear because you were so busy being a passive learner versus an active learner passive learning is when you're too busy trying to write things down and you learning during the time when um you should be interacting during the time when you're not an active learner active learner is when you actually you um you involve in the conversation you know you've read you've read before you came to class and you're ready to be active and you know in llp listen learning position <laughs> okay so yeah so um but basically i'm telling y'all recording those lectures will help you when you're riding in the car that is so important another thing is um yeah like so when you're reading the content a lot of time you have black box warnings where do you have like certain things in a black box it might tell you what things are nephrotoxic things that are toxic to the kidneys what things that are um cardio toxic what things that um you should do as far as in teaching critical teachings for home anything i mean anything that's that's in a box make sure you know that because nine times out of ten it might be on your test so that's important and my last but not least very last but not least and i'm gonna end this because so my very broke. last thing i would say is make sure you're following your girl nurse t and that's nurse t 15 for all the latest updated videos i plan to get back on here even if i'm just like i said it's very impromptu i'm actually getting in my car getting ready to go get my girls and sometimes this be the best way it's actually nice lighting out here hopefully the dogs will be asleep next time i decide to make this video but anyways yeah if you haven't already subscribed to your girl nurse t nurse t15 thank y'all to those of you who reached out and checked on your girl your girl took a vacation um and just relax you know um like i said i plan to come back to you for some more videos that can help you out in any way whatsoever um i never know what can be happening and a lot of times i get information from questions i see people who are asking me in in comments i'll be making videos on that kind of stuff so make sure you send me your video request um i maxed out on There's my only so many things that you can um way you can make the video showing like my daily life of a nurse but my main thing from this point is to continue educating so i'll do more educational style videos and asking questions combining questions and just kind of giving you my point of view of everything and hopefully what i information i take you can go a long way as always subscribe 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 like comment you can also follow me on instagram snapchat i'm on those sites as well a little bit more frequently lately but other than that i'll catch y'all on the next one bye